Hi, this is Kerry Garrison with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. Now, some of you who have watched my other videos on using the Ronin S have noticed that I'm using a GH4. And with the GH4, they're going, how did you do that? There's no cable that comes with it to be able to trigger the shutter. Well, this is the magic part that you need. This is the Ronin MX spare part number two RSS control cable for Panasonic. You can pick these up here in the DJI uh, authorized retail store, or you can buy them online from multicopterwarehouse.com. Uh, it's a fairly inexpensive part, but you don't get full control of the GH4. And that's because the GH4 has no means for controlling the focus or zoom controls electronically. It's, there's just no way of doing it. It wasn't built into the camera. With the GH5, you can do that through the USB port, but with the GH4, you can't. The only thing you have is shutter release. So you can start and stop videos and you can take stills. So this will work with any of the create functions, uh, capture, time lapse, motion lapse, or the track function, or while you're holding it and pressing the start button or start and stop button on the Ronin uh, S. Unfortunately, to use follow focus, you're going to have to wait till the new motor system comes out that'll attach to this and actually be able to turn the focus wheel. So, unfortunately, for us GH4 users, all we have is shutter control. Now, the way this hooks up is you take the cable and you plug it in to the port on the left side of the gimbal right underneath the lock unlock lever and then you take it and put it into the side of the GH4 where the remote is. Now this can be a little tricky with balance because the cable coming out the side can very easily want to be right where this vertical bar is. So balance is going to be fairly critical. The way I managed to get such a good balance, and this, this is just with the uh, 14 to 140 lens, is I moved the mount plate back as far as it could go, and that allowed the camera to shift back a little bit, and the cable just misses this bar over here. If you have different lenses, you're gonna have to weight it so either that cable is in front or behind the bar until someone comes out with like a 90 degree cable, then that would work just fine. But for now, this is what we have, and it works just fine with the GH4 for starting and stopping the video and for taking the stills and using the create modes. So that's how to use a Ronin S with the Panasonic GH4. This has been Kerry. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, be sure and click the like button on this, share it with your friends, click that subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon to be notified every time we do a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.